What's up guys? You got a real estate listing checklist? If you don't, I got you covered. What's up, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents succeed. No need to take notes on this, watch this video to the very end, I'm gonna provide you detailed instructions on additional information regarding the checklist, the listing checklist, but also um, how you can access your free PDF version for you to use on a daily basis. There are four main benefits to using the real estate listing checklist. Number one is organization. Look, if you guys have one or two listings, this might not be a big deal, but if you're gonna be out there being a superstar listing a lot of properties, having a good checklist is imperative to keeping you guys organized. The last thing you wanna do is spend all this unnecessary time going back through emails and text messages and phone conversations to figure out if you got certain things done. Keeping well organized is gonna keep you extremely efficient with your time, so it's very important that you guys abide by a nice listing checklist. Number two is reduce liability, and I truly think this is the most important. You know, as a uh, real estate broker and owner of a real estate brokerage, I, I assume responsibility for all of our real estate agents in our organization. So it's imperative that they use these checklists to reduce our liability. So a prime example is, let's say um, we get into contract and there's an HOA, a homeowners association with fees. Now, many times the buyer's agent is gonna write up the contract and have an HOA addendum and it's gonna disclose the monthly or quarterly fees. Now, if we didn't take the necessary step per our checklist to go ahead and call the association to confirm those monthly fees or quarterly fees, and we get into contract and find out later on while we're in contract that those fees are off, then big liability is gonna happen that the agent, the seller, and the broker, and brokerage as a whole be held liable and ultimately could result in a lawsuit. So, um, you know, abiding by this checklist is very important to keep uh, your liability low. Number three, great communication. At the end of the day, when you're sticking to this checklist, you're gonna provide great communication with everybody associated with the real estate transaction. That's not just your client, but you're talking about the title company, attorney, mortgage company, uh, the, the buyer's agent. So it's just gonna set you guys apart from a lot of the others that are just kind of floating by or even winging it. Number four, great customer service. By using this listing checklist, it's just gonna give you ample opportunities to stay in front of your seller throughout this entire process. So every time that you're able to reach out to your seller and update them throughout the process, they're just gonna give you a thumbs up. You should be able to get five star ratings across the board because you are staying in front of your client and giving them updates on a regular basis. All right, let's get into the guts of the real estate listing checklist. All right, the checklist that I created is broken down into four different categories. The time of listing the property, on market, offer accepted, and post closing. Time of listing the property. This is when you're gonna gather all the necessary information of the property. Uh, property details of the actual physical property. Is it on well, is it on septic? What type of roof, how old the, the roof is, how old the HVAC or furnace, all the detailed information that you're gonna need. Also, all the information pertaining to a homeowners association or if there's a condo association, what those fees are, who's the contact person, what kind of amenities are provided um, in, in this association. On market, it's game time. How are you gonna market this property? So you're gonna have different strategies that might be a little bit different than this checklist that I'm gonna provide to you guys, but you're gonna need to add all the different marketing techniques that you're gonna use and make sure that you don't miss anything. So when you go to open market, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're marketing this property and also sending all the appropriate links to the seller and updating them on exactly what you're doing. Uh, many times sellers are, you know, they're, they're not aware of all of your efforts and your marketing techniques. So this is a prime time to have that entire list with all the appropriate links so they can actually see all the work that you put into the um, marketing their property. Offer accepted. This is the prime time to reduce a lot of liability and stay on track. So here's a prime example. Let's say um, in Florida, for example, you have, if you're buying a condo, a resale condo, the state of Florida says, that you have three days to back out for any reason once you receive the condo docs. 
okay so let's say for example you have a buyer you're representing the seller and you have a buyer that's trying to get out of the deal and when you went into contract you didn't immediately get them over the condo docks right away the day of or the day after being accepted you didn't get them those condo docks what happens they still have an out because you never provide those condo docks they have an out all the way up until closing because you missed this simple thing that you had to do so you know the the buyer's attorneys reviewing the contract they're saying hey did you guys get the condo docs the buyer and buyer buyer's agent are saying nope we didn't there's another out for that buyer so when you're when you're protecting your seller you have to go full board in terms of making sure that you're crossing every t dotting every i and making sure that this checklist is complete each and every time day of and post closing this is the day of closing you're going to have to do necessary things like maybe in your state you have um, the final walkthrough so you're going to have to prepare for that getting the keys to the title company their attorney's office um, all these small things that really um, assist in making the transaction go very smooth also this is prime time where you need to be the superstar are you getting that seller a closing gift are you asking that seller for an online review and ultimately are you asking that seller for um, referrals do they know anybody else that could be that's interested in buying or selling real estate so this is the time where you want to again utilize this checklist make sure make sure you're going through it hundred percent so my question to you guys is have you ever been in any kind of bind that could have easily easily been avoided if you utilize some sort of checklist like this if you have comment below I'd love to hear about it and as promised you're going to get a pdf version as well as additional content that's written in a uh, post down below there's going to be a link for you guys click on it you're going to find another link it's going to provide you the pdf as mentioned you're probably going to want to um, change things around based on your area your marketing strategies your state so go ahead and use that as a guide if you found this information helpful, that link below, you might want to bookmark that site. We have more and more relevant content coming at you for free. And uh, also, as always, we're going to have a couple videos coming at you a week um, to help you and your business and, and grow your business. So go ahead and subscribe if you like this content. Thank you.